Look what Santa Mr. Postman decided to bring me this holiday season. Thank you very much, Mr. Postman. And thank you very much to Mrs. Claus. So, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is a simple unboxing of the X-Tool F1. Uh, something that was on my wish list. And thanks to uh, Mrs. Claus, she made sure that that wish list happened. Uh, I may do this fast, I may do this slow, hopefully. Hopefully you get the gist of it. <laughs> this is the X-Tool F1. Um, like I said, it's something I wanted for Christmas. Uh, oh, here, this oddly satisfying, if it works right. <gasps> it did. <laughs> that in the box. There we go. In all its glory. Looks rather small there. I'm gonna lower you down. Give you a better look. Yeah, so let's see, uh, X Tool F1. Um, pretty well self explanatory if you've seen them. Again, this is another uh, incredibly boring, uninteresting unboxing because there's a million of them. And I'm just going to add to that noise. <laughs> let's see, we got tape here to remove. What I've been seeing is really cool is that people have been taking and making um, jigs that fit in this, which I think is a cool idea. So, and I know there's a lens cap, but we're not gonna worry about the lens cap right now because this isn't, this is just a simple unboxing. And we're gonna have, little fiddly bits in here, power cord, and uh, USB-C to A, and then we'll save these boxes, just in case I have a bottom of the tool. Um, this is going to be, yeah, materials packet. Uh, we've got quite a bit of things in there. Uh, let's see. This also has the, uh, this is the cutting. You put it in and when you cut something, it helps save the bed, you know. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes for me to get score marks on the bed of the laser engraver. <laughs> this box. Probably the power supply feels heavy enough. Yeah. Little power supply, not too bad. Um, let's see, what do we got on the power supply? I don't know if you can see this. Uh, you know, you might wanna be careful at times. There is no UL listing that I can see. I always look for a UL. Then I know it's been tested here in the States for uh, the quality assurance. They catch on fire. I haven't heard any people having problems with their. And we got a big box, which happens to have, of course, the key. This key is, um, is used to you can unplug the key and it won't operate. And then of course, oddly satisfying. Well, getting it back together isn't oddly satisfying. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay, I think that's it for this. Let me get other stuff ready to go. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna go ahead and uh, unbox the X-Tool desktop smoke purifier. Uh, this is the, the air purifier that goes on the X-Tool F1, comes out the back, exhaust comes out the back, goes into this, and then you'll have another tube going out. And you could actually channel that outdoors if need be. Hopefully, I'm not doing that much, but there might be cases where I might have an area where I want to go ahead and vent that outdoors if I could. So, especially, you know, when you're cutting wood and you got a lot of smoke. Depends on how much you like it. It might smell like a campfire. <laughs> so... see what's in the box what's in the box oh another box <laughs> actually it may not be a box Ooh, it's not so far this is actual a little more unboxing stuff we got the manual which is kind of nice i'm gonna put the knife down before i cut myself drop the knife okay um this looks like the power supply power brick again find it fun rudder laboratories uh yeah again i don't see any ulo listing um I'll look. I'm assuming filters go up top. I don't know if there is any filters right now. Um, let's see. Make sure there isn't any tape holding things. This should just lift up. Yeah, there's filters already in place, which is kind of nice. And they've got some spare filters if you need it. This whole thing looks like a big filter. You know, pretty big. So I don't know what it takes to, to uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, to replace that. I don't know what the cost is, but it's a pretty cool tool. And it might allow me to be able to, you know, if I go to a craft show or something, to be able to run it at the craft show because I have a purifier. And, you know, if I'm just doing small engravings and stuff. It shouldn't be creating a lot. Okay, there. Spring out nice. So, there's that. And I'll be back. Alrighty then, what's in the box? What's in the box? So I've got the Rotary Tool 2. I guess that's 2. And then the, uh, F1 slide extension. I'm gonna unbox these sort of together. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. Okay. We're running, yep, we're running ahead to double check. Got a manual like always. Got uh, different connections, you know, so the F1. They don't show in here. Get the right tips for your machine. Hopefully it's in the box. I'm sure it is. Oh, here. X-Tool F1 and S1. So it looks like in the box, we've got all our parts. Um, we've got... So I guess this is for like doing rings and stuff. Um, also, I'm possibly helping add some different nuts and bolts. We do have the cable. We have another cable, which means that this can be used on more than one X tool. Got a couple of, uh, looks like uh, hex bits, down wrench bits. Got more cabling, <laughs> serving cabling and such. Got a level, 
uh, might come in handy. We'll pop a level. God. And I'm I'm guessing this is for holding the tail end, sort of a tail tool. Oh, that's just you know, screw it to the height you need. There's some grease in there. I don't know. It looked like I had grease. So it'd be funny, it's not in this, but it's in a different box. <laughs> but there might be grease that's needed for other things. Then we have, it's like the whole rotary tool itself. I've heard these are, so you really want to use the chuck. Um, don't pick anything except in the box. It's in the box. It's in the box. Another box. Mm. Let's see. Oh yeah, we got a little. I'm pretty sure the chuck's in here, along with a uh, uh, a cloth tape, measuring tape. And some bits, and that's the chuck. So I'll probably have to, you know, buy something to hold this stuff in. And contrary to popular belief that I was going to do this without both these at the same time, I'm going to put stuff back in this one. So instead of an unboxing, we're going to have a reboxing. slide extension here. The slide extension makes this tool very useful because I'll be able to do um, like I know one of the first things I need to do is a bunch of key rings because Mrs. I are planning a trip and these key rings will be special gifts for people. So Again, manual up top, it's really nice. Um, and it's slight extension table. Uh, let's see, I'm wondering, is this table all one? Uh, okay, yeah, it's all one unit, so. And then it looks like everything's underneath. Move this out of the way. So can you see that okay? Yeah. That's side extension. Pretty sure there's locked up. Um, I've got these are really cool. They've got a bunch of hold downs. I think I can just yeah. And then you go where you need to go with this. You know, and then this helps clamp it down further. That <laughs> makes sense. All right, enough fumble fingers, right? There's looks like there's a cable. Um, again, another hex wrench or another hex screwdriver bit, and it's like a straight edge. And I know for a fact that this would slide in here, and you know, you set it up at zero, I believe. When you're on zero, then you can go ahead and tighten it down and this helps align the thing too so and that'd be the slide extension again that allow me to do multiple objects like if i'm doing um in my case key rings i'm going to try to set up a jig to do multiple key rings so i can do a bunch at a time because i got like a hundred and ten to do or so so That'll be interesting. All right, let me put this away and uh, we'll get with the final thoughts here. All right, okay. final thoughts on the unboxing. Um, X-Tools done it right. I believe that they definitely protected the, uh, the X-Tool F1 and 
Um, all the equipment that you see here is definitely protected. Plenty of foam, it's Kaizen foam, it's really good foam. Uh, that lends well to, if I wanna get a, a case, I can you know, stack this Kaizen foam and still have the regular foam that's used to hold everything, and that's always a good option. Um, yeah, I think they did it right with the materials and stuff. So my final thoughts, um, yeah, we're going to play. <laughs> so again, welcome to a uh, crappy old boring unboxing of the X-Tool F1. And thanks for joining. And peace. And Merry Christmas. It's, it's that holiday season, even though this video will be posted after, I'm still going to say it. So uh, everybody have peace and joy in your life. So, um, one thing though, I went through this entire kit and I don't know if they're providing the safety, uh, glasses anymore, which to me, even though you have the cover, it's still one of those things that you should probably provide to your customer, at least one pair. So, you know what, you know, and I understand they cost, but they're not that expensive at times i mean i get i get it there's cheap ones out there there's ones that won't work but it's still a, a situation of you know especially when you got the the slide extension and all that stuff where you're gonna have a tendency to keep this up higher with the slide extension you yeah it it shouldn't be a decision that you made for the customers it should always be a decision that the customer makes for themselves so um my advice is get safety goggles uh, if they're not provided anymore. But my advice to Excel is go ahead and provide them. <laughs>